Justin, it's really good to see you. I have an important question today. Should you pay off your mortgage before you retire? A lot of us want to go into retirement debt free. Of course, it's not just a financial, but also an emotional decision. So let's just start at the top. Should you pay off your mortgage? Yeah, the answer I'd give you is maybe. Okay. Uh, a more definitive answer would be, uh, you know, optimally everyone uh, when they get to retirement should be in a position where they, they could either pay off their mortgage or eliminate their mortgage payments if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, I think a bigger question is how do you do that? Because there are a number of different approaches you could take. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, right. typically- so let's walk through some of those, right? Because we wanted to start with the typical approach, which is people making an extra payment or two, maybe once every year on their mortgage balance. And you said that's typical, but not necessarily safe. Yeah, uh, uh, that's the most typical approach I see. Either people making extra mortgage payments or somebody refinancing, for example, from a 30 year mortgage to a 15 year mortgage, which is right. just really making extra or larger mortgage payments with less flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in that approach, either of those approaches that are typically not the most efficient or the most safe way to eliminate a mortgage. And, and what I mean by that is for all those years where you're making those extra payments or those larger payments on that mortgage, you're dedicating extra cash flow to eliminating that debt. And, and that might mean that your savings don't grow or they don't grow much, or it might mean that your savings go down. And that can put you in a really dangerous position when financial emergencies come along. So yeah, I've seen yeah, this before. I, mm -hmm. I've seen people who dedicate all their extra cash flow work really hard towards eliminating a low interest liability like a mortgage. And what happens is sometimes they end up owing a bunch of money to Visa and MasterCard because they weren't prepared for the financial emergencies that came, that came along. So there are some other ways to do the exact same thing, but be in a better position of control and security. Okay, so let's walk through some of those ways. So this one you are calling the safe way. What is the safe way to pay off your mortgage? Yeah, so rather than taking that extra cash flow and giving it to the bank each month, basically you take that extra cash flow and, and save it for yourself in a side fund. OK, so you're still going to end up paying interest on the mortgage, but now you're creating a side fund. You can earn interest on that side fund, earn a return on that side fund. And over time, the, the balance of your mortgage is going to come down and the balance of that side fund is going to come up and, it, and you're going to reach a date where you can write a check to pay off that mortgage. OK, and at that point, whether or not you write that check, your mortgage is essentially paid off. It's just a question of do you want to write one big check? Or do you want to write a bunch of small checks each and every month and continue that? OK, mm -hmm. and, and there's a conversation to be had around that. But that's a much safer way to do that because you're in control of that money during that whole process. Um, you know, uh, so put you in a much better position if when financial emergencies come, come along, put you in a much better position if you were to get sick or become disabled, lose a job. Uh, it makes it much less likely that uh, or much more likely that you're going to continue to be able to make your mortgage payment so that you don't lose your home. Then that is very important. Yeah. Okay, now let's walk through the optional way. What does that mean? Yeah, so this might come to a surprise to a lot of people. Uh, you don't have to pay off your mortgage to eliminate your mortgage payments. Uh, uh, in the state of Texas at age 62, if your house is partially paid off or it's going to be partially paid off by the time you, you reach retirement, uh, you may be able to use something called a home equity conversion mortgage or a HECM to refinance and eliminate those uh, those mortgage payments uh, or eliminate the principal and interest payments. Uh, there are so, so a HECM home equity conversion mortgage is a type of reverse mortgage. There are a lot of misconceptions around these products, but they do open up some uh, some some exceptional planning opportunities. Um, in many cases, you can not only use uh, a, a HECM to refinance and eliminate your mortgage payments at retirement. Uh, in, in many cases, you can also create an additional stream of tax free income. And um, and then there's this. A lot of people at retirement, they downsize. So they'll sell a house and they'll and they'll harvest a bunch of uh, tax advantaged uh, equity from that sale. And then many times what they'll do is they'll put 100 percent down on the next house they buy so they can buy that house mortgage payment you know, without any mortgage payments. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, understand this in the state of Texas, in the state of Texas, an age 62 borrower right now, you could purchase a half million dollar house using a home equity conversion mortgage. You could put about three hundred thousand dollars down on that half million dollar house 
finance the rest with a, with a HECM and have no mortgage payments for the rest of your life. So essentially it puts you in a position where at retirement or near retirement, you could downsize and purchase a half million dollar house effectively for $300,000. That sounds very attractive. Yeah. All right. Let's walk through this third option then. The fast way. What is the fast way? Yeah. So if you so if you absolutely want to be free of uh, all debts and including the mortgage, um, uh, you know, one of the ways you can you can do that is use a bank account. Now, what I'm about to mention, not everyone's a candidate for it, but for those who are, uh, it can be very, very powerful. Instead of using a bank account, we can show clients how they can use a whole life contract to um, to be debt free, including the mortgage, typically two to three times faster than the typical plan would allow them. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and this approach comes with some additional benefits, not the least of which is, you know, when you start this process that your family is going to be debt free, whether you live to see that day or not. What I mean is if, if, if you were to die during the, the, the process of eliminating that debt, that insurance company is going to pay a, a death benefit that will pay off all those liabilities. So this is kind of a self-completing plan. Uh, and this is something that we not only talk about with clients, but, um, you know, we can show them, we can give them, uh, give them a written plan that's predictable and verifiable before they ever decide if they want to pursue this. Interesting. What I'm hearing you say, Dustin, overall, is that this comes with a lot of flexibility and more control over your finances, which sounds very attractive. And I think you wanted to mention as well that it doesn't have to be you're picking just one. It might be a combination of all three. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, many times uh, with clients, we'll, we'll combine these approaches depending upon what the client needs or wants. Uh, the main thing is, is just when you, when you approach this problem of trying to eliminate debts or get in a position where you could eliminate debts if you wanted to, um, you know, it's just important that you have a plan and that plan's predictable and efficient. Right. So it's right. a good reason to do some planning. And a good legacy as well. I like it. Dustin, yeah. if somebody has questions about what we've talked about today, what's the best way to reach you? Uh, they can send me a text at 830-476-2505 or reach out on the website to book a free chat at longlivemymoney.com. All right. Dustin, thank you very much. Thanks, Aaron.